scale and map work. Under scale and map work, we're going to focus on the number scale. So I have a scale, one is to 50,000. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to learn how to interpret the scale. So I know that my one is going to represent my distance on map or my distance on plan. My 50,000 is going to represent my actual distance or my ground distance. So in words, we will say one unit on map represents 50,000 units in actual size. Or if I decide to use units, I'm going to say one centimeter on map represents 50,000 centimeters in actual size. An example would be use the above scale to calculate the actual distance if the distance on map, so map distance is 20 centimeters. So I have my map distance, I have my scale, I am calculating actual distance. Step one, write out your scale. One is to 50,000. Step two, from the question, substitute. So one represents map. So I'm going to substitute map below map. So the 20 goes below one. On this side, this is my unknown. So that's x. Now because my 20, my map distance, is in centimeters, all my, all my measurements will be in centimeters. So to solve for x, I can either cross multiply or I can ask myself to go from 1 to 20. What did I do? 1 multiplied by 20 gives me 20. Whatever I do on the left hand side, I do on the right hand side. So 50,000 times 20 gives me a value of 1 million. My unit is going to be in centimeters. Now, actual distance is not measured in centimeters. We're going to convert our centimeters to Ks. So to go from centimeter into Ks, I will remind myself millimeter, centimeter, meter, Ks. From millimeter to centimeter, I divide by 10. Centimeter to meter is 100. Meter to case is 1,000. I am converting from centimeter into case. If I had to do it in one step, it means I'm dividing by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. So I'm actually dividing by 100,000. which means one million centimeters is equivalent to 10 Ks. 